Hey everyone, Broku here. Just a quick guide on Hypertune and Resonance. I've had a few requests to explain how it all works. And if you can see, it'll come into Memories. And then you can check here Resonance. Now, this is the easiest way to tell what you've got equipped to who in terms of your Resonance and if it's Hypertune. So you can see I've got lots of Core Passive 1. This will be the bottom slot and this is the top slot in the left side. So right side is bottom slot. So you can see all of mine are core passive one for the bottom slot. So what does that do? Well, if we come back to our skills, so you'll see alpha has plus six resonance. This one is from border pack, so just ignore that. So you can see this says blade wheel, so her blade beams, they will do 410% damage, except if this is not hyper tuned, I'll only do 300% damage. So you can see I've gotten an extra 110% damage, which is pretty extreme, especially if you're free to play. So you get 10% from border and the rest, the other 100% has come from resonance. So back into the memory. And if you click on any of the memory, you go resonance and then just in here, swap resonance, click. Now I would need the exact same memory. So this is Frederick. I would need another Frederick and then I would click on it, click confirm and then resonate. Now that will give me a random one. You can go to skill preview. It will give me a random skill here. You can see what your chances are. So what, what you can get. And there are, there are eight different ones to choose. So if you want to choose them rather than just gamble for them and hope you get lucky, you can do that now. That is a new feature they've just added. So go to item instead of memory. And then what you'll do is you'll use one of these. If you have them, you can get them from Warzone. So choose skill, and then you literally just pick which one. Now, be very careful. It shows you here, whoever the memory is equipped to at the time when you do this, that is who it's bound to. You can see it says bind here. That's it. That's the only character this will work on. It's stuck on that character. So you can see they're all alpha skills. I can't transfer this, even though this is a max level memory set and I can swap this to another character and this character will get really high stats. The resonance will not carry over. That will only ever work on the original character. And it's also the only way to completely awaken that character. Here you go. So you have to, you can't just cheat like these ones where you can just swap the memories over to reach this uh, BP. You have to do it per character. So you can see these are light blue colored arrows. If I come down here to Lotus, we've got dark blue. Now what that means is it's hyper tuned and not hyper tuned. But you can see as an example as well, see how this says invalid, these were for alpha, but they won't work on Lotus. So back to the blue arrows, come down here to resonance, and then you can see hyper tunable. So if I click that, as long as you have these materials, which you can get from farming dailies, or you can just do this, this also works. And then you click hyper tune and it will give you these. So you can do it twice per memory. So that's 17.5% attack twice. Now, it says memory attack increase. What this means is this attack here. So it's getting 17.5% of this twice if you hyper tune both. So coming back out of that, you will do that six times. So two for each, and then it will actually stack up and you will notice quite a difference in terms of your attack and defense. It depends what construct you're doing. If you're doing an attacker, obviously you want to do the attack. I don't think this is necessarily worth it for an attacker, but you know, up to you, what do you whatever you want to do on your account, depending on how many resources you have. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this guide was helpful. If there's any questions, I guess leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. See you guys next video.